I was glad to hear somebody finally say something about immigration because the first presidential debate and the vice presidential debate, no one talked about immigration. And that's a very, very important issue. What do you gentlemen have to say about well, that? As far as immigration is concerned, and what how came it was up handled. as far as the, the uh, Arizona law. And um, it seemed as though Governor Romney backed off of his stated position as it relates to the Arizona law relative to uh, whether it's a model for the nation or not. Um, there's a lot of issues revolving around uh, immigration. The DREAM Act mm -hmm. is one in which um, the president put forward, especially in a lame uh, duck session of, of uh, uh, Congress back in 2010, to go ahead and uh, put this forward. And that was uh, filibustered. Uh, it's a, the DREAM Act is a program by which uh, people can go ahead and um, get uh, a license, a driver's license, you know, mm -hmm. people who are undocumented. And this is a term that, that Mr. Romney used also. He called them illegals, okay, uh, which is an offensive word to those folks. Uh, and at the same time, as far as his own DREAM Act, he talked about only if people will join in the military, where the president is talking about as far as those people who came as children uh, through no fault of their own, it came with their parents, okay, uh, that they would be able to go ahead and have some of the um, being able to go to school and go into the military and get their citizenship. You know, Mr. you want to talk about immigration um, and illegal being rude or, or an offensive uh, word. I mean, illegal immigration is what it is. It's a violation of our immigration laws by illegally crossing the border. Um, so let's call it what it is. It's, it's illegal immigration. These are illegal immigrants. Um, with Romney, I'm, I'm a little bit more conservative on this issue, I will admit, uh, personally. Um, however, I don't believe that any illegal should be given in-state tuition. For example, let's just use a state like Texas. I'm a Florida resident. If I go to school in Texas, there's no reason why an illegal should be given a benefit that I'm not given an, if I'm an American. I should not be paying out-of-state tuition if they're going to be paying in-state tuition. So I have an issue with some of these issues, with the illegal immigration. I think we need a stronger border. I can go into that. It's not my platform. Um, but I wish we would. I would agree with you, Dr. James. Um, I, I, I think that I wish we would discuss immigration more. Um, I think it's an important issue for voters out there. Obviously, it's not the top issue right now. Economy and jobs are. Spending is. But illegal immigration and immigration just in general is right up there. And what Romney mentioned, well, we have four, well, but we have four million people on the list. I have family in Eastern Europe. They'd love to come to the U.S. Very difficult to get in here. We have four million people that are in line. They're waiting in line. Think of a theme park. You're in line trying to get on a roller coaster. No one can just cut in front of you. That's not right. And just because Mexico is on our southern border does not give them a right to cut in line in front of people from countries like Eastern, from my family lives in Eastern Serbia. They, they live in Serbia, um, former Yugoslavia. And some of those people are highly educated, highly skilled. They would come here and bring the talents that they could bring. My, my brother's a dentist. He can't get over here. So well, what, why, what gives them a right to jump the line? What, I don't not, understand I don't, that. I don't talk about jumping the line. I'm talking about a reality in terms of 12 million people being here, of which you call illegal. Okay, mm -hmm. and those 12 million people, uh, Mitt Romney talked about uh, self-deportation, making it so miserable that they will leave. And the other part of that is the fact that when we start talking about the Dream Act, we're talking about children, we're talking mm -hmm. about babies that were brought here. Okay, and Mitt Romney and, agreed and, with and, that. And, and, and he only agreed with E-Verify. He did not agree with the fact. That, and no, he I'll, didn't I'll give one military. other thing. He said yes, the military. That's Correct. the other thing I was mentioning. And that's those are the two things that he talked about. But it's not comprehensive in terms of going ahead and, and having a pathway to, to citizenship. And the other part of it is, is that as far as the Republican Party is concerned, George Bush talked about trying to alleviate this particular problem, mm -hmm. right? Got no support from out of his own party That's right. rel relative to that. That's right. We still have that problem today mm -hmm. in terms of as the 12 million people who are here. If we don't do anything about it. It's going to fester like a sore, and has been, okay? So the question is, is the Republican Party willing, willing to compromise as it is now, in terms of the hard line that people are taking, and work with Democrats to go ahead and address the problem? Because that's the only way it's going to well, get solved. You know, we, we tried amnesty back with Reagan, failed. We still have the problem now. 
Um, you mentioned comprehensive immigration reform. Mm -hmm. The president said he'd have a plan in his first term. It didn't happen. Guess what? It's part of Hope Part 2. And now he's saying that when he comes back, he's going to prevent, he's going to propose a comprehensive immigration reform plan. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen. Guess what? Mitt Romney he even said that his first year he's going to try to tackle the issue. You know, Obama had four years. Let's talk about a record. No. Let's talk I, about a record. You know, you didn't say happen. that. He said, Mitt Romney said for the two years that Barack Obama's executive order is in place, he will not go ahead and try to repeal it, that he would go ahead and come up with his own plan, of which he told no one about in terms of what it is that his plan is going to be. So to sit here and say that in terms of he's going on day one, he's got a whole list on day one that he's going there's to do. There's a lot that, that there's a lot going, to fix. There's been a lot of do. mistakes the past but four But he years. knows, and you know, that if in terms of being in the Congress, nothing is going to happen that quickly, especially if you can't get both sides to come together and work on a particular issue from a bipartisan perspective. Dr. Miller, Mr. Christian, thank Sir. you both. That's the fastest half hour in television. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. And